All right, since the first episode did so well, um, I decided, I don't know why it didn't give me the option to select something, uh, I decided to come back and uh, start the first episode uh, very next day. We uh, I set the goal for 30 likes, and I think we have 40 or more right now. So um, first thing I'm going to explain is that I missed some star ball caps. I missed one up here by Lone Wolf, and I did that because the game froze at the very end if you stuck around to see that. And then we got a couple there and a couple by the sunlight, uh, Sunset Drive-In. I didn't get the Mojave Drive-In because um, I want to walk by that anyways. So from here, we're actually just going to continue. Um, oh, and I also did the rest of the casino stuff and bought all the implants. So all that is pretty much stuff you're gonna not going to want to watch anyways, uh, I would imagine. So we can actually start with the main game and... Uh, like I said, we won't actually don't mind if we um, if we get radiation. So I'm gonna be searching for. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just drink all those because we're not gonna need that for anything other than uh, star ball caps. So, like I said, we're keeping those. We're looking for those star star ball caps Cheyenne for uh, a quest later on. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, Doc Mitchell said you could teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, and um, I think I've talked about it already, but the hell is this music coming from? Oh, I wish Trudy was here because we actually have a water issue right now. But we're going to be able to get rid of the uh, lack of water here in a bit. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. The, we're going to Good Springs. Um, what's it called? Good Springs Source. So we'll actually be okay. Come up here in a sec. So I'll go ahead and show you what all what all I've done. Uh, so when you get implants, they go to the perks, and I got the endurance, intelligence, luck, perception, and strength. Um, the next two we need to get are actually the. Uh, two special implants. So one is a slow regeneration HP buff and the other is a defensive buff. So here we go. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've all... Okay, so I'm gonna just look for ammo. Hopefully he has some 10 millimeter. He does not. So what kind of weapons do we have? We have a 9 mil. we have that, which I actually don't need. Actually, you know what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to show off. Uh, yeah, I might as well keep the 9 mil. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Um, I'll buy 9 mil ammo just because we might need it. Da, 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 da. Hollow points. You don't really find a lot of enemies that, uh, hollow points are good for enemies that don't have armor. I guess it would be like the lizards and whatnot. I don't really need any of that. Um, yeah, he doesn't have anything that we need that much. Water we might need. Uh, food we might need. So it says FOD, not food. That's great. I'll just try and buy as much food as we can, honestly. We, we're not going to really need all the food I'm getting, but we have it anyways. And just in case I do this. So you can find empty casings, and for a long time I actually thought it was useless. But it so turns out that it is totally not useless. Uh, one thing you do want to look for is glass, um, they're like pitchers. If you do that, I think it's a surgical tubing, you can get, um, uh, you can get the ability to, uh, create fresh water from a workbench, so that's actually super useful. Okay, I'm just kind of searching through all of our stuff we have. Um, unlike my Fallout 4 series, I'm allowing pretty much anything used so bleak venom yeah I'm okay anti venom is really good as well we're not probably gonna need anti venom for just a little bit but 
we still have it. And then pencils don't weigh anything. And yeah, so like I said, weapon repair kits are duct tape, scrap electronics, two scrap metal, and uh, wonder glue and wrench. I don't have what a doctor's bag is. I think it's forceps, uh, not triceps, forceps. What's the other one? Uh, scalpel, surgical tubing maybe, and a doctor's brace or something along those lines. So we need to basically look for all doctors related items. Um, so now I'm gonna go to my ammo. And ammo in this um, version of the game actually weighs something. So I'm going to need to get rid of stuff that we're not going to be using. You can convert energy cells and microfusions to one another. So you do need to be aware of that as well. Okay, excellent. Thanks. Now what I'm going to show you now is a way to get one of the most powerful uh, early uh, weapons in the game. So... Oh my gosh, what is it called? I can't even remember off the top of my head. So basically, if you were to go uh, up here and over there, you're gonna find uh, some really, really dangerous enemies, actually. But what we're gonna do instead is, I'm gonna show you a, a way to avoid all these dangerous enemies. Oh, and I got these Wasteland Survival Guides. So that'll boost our survival up a little bit. And in the last uh, episode, I showed you yeah, I showed you that there is an extra Wasteland Survival Guide that you can get, but it's pretty dangerous. So I'm going to just avoid that because I did the math, uh, checked it over. I think we're getting like 12 skill points per level. And that'll be more than enough to get um, what we need for all of our levels, so I'm not too worried. You really just want the special points to, be, um, to qualify you for whatever you're going for for perks. So... I used to think 9 intelligence was the move, but having 100 in every skill is not necessary, to be honest with you. Okay. Okay, so for now, until we get Sniper, we're just going to be aiming for the chest, but even though we're on very hard, and I'll show that again here in a sec, we're going to be running through enemies pretty easily. Um, so this coyote won't be too, too tough to fight. And sometimes I think they can have coyote hides, but let me just show off. So we are on hardcore and very hard, and it will stay that way for the remainder of the game. Because uh, you never know when you're putting videos on YouTube, people all the time will be like, oh no, you're not playing on so-and-so difficulty. I had a guy in my Fallout 4, I was like probably 40-something episodes in, and he commented, he was like, this is clearly not survival. And I was like, what? Like you see like all the debuffs going on down below, like sleep and water and food, I don't know. So I just figure it's worth showing off that uh, that we do have it. Now, okay. Uh, bu bu oh my god, you know what I forgot to do? So this is where you want a chance's knife. That's what it is. So actually, I'm going to go back to Good Springs, and we want to go to Chet and buy a shovel. And then I'm going to walk back here, but I'm going to cut it out if I remember to. Um, so yeah, you basically, <laughs> I basically screwed it all up. So so yeah, you're going to want to go in here and go buy a shovel from him because you have to have a shovel to dig. So I generally keep a shovel on me the whole game. Uh, not because the stuff you find is going to be that amazing. Going to buy some supply? Uh, but it is worth having. He always has a shovel from what I've always seen. So we have 144. So yeah, I don't know if there's... Another satisfied we have a fair amount of weapon repair kits too. You're going to want to keep those for the MF Hyperbreeder Alpha, by the way. So, yeah, I'm going to run back there, and I will see y'all in a second. So, just bear with me, and then I'll be over there. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I'm officially back, and this is, once again, Chance's Grave. Yep. So, he was a con. Bonus critical uh, hit damage. And, or chance, sorry, not damage. And yeah, so now we'll go back to uh, here. That's gonna be pretty much the best melee weapon you're gonna get for quite some time. Um, not the best in the game, it's one of them. And it's super early to get. It was put there, I'm guessing, because it's pretty dangerous to go over there, but not, in, not if you know what you're doing. So, sorry about that little mishap for getting the shovel. Uh, but now we're gonna go through the, now. this is, See the essentially the tutorial area of the game 
And another tip I'm actually going to give you is to turn true iron sights off. Okay, so they're already off. I should have known that. The true iron sights are actually more inaccurate. Alright, yeah, that should be it. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Alright. So yeah, so this episode is basically gonna be like a bunch of the tutorial type stuff. Uh, close around... Uh, good Springs. Not Good Springs. Is this Good Springs? Oh, yeah, this is Good Springs, right? Holy shit, my brain's broken. Yeah, Good Springs. Sorry, just coming from Fallout 4 to this game. Uh, not that it's that difficult to think about, but kind of throws me for a loop sometimes. So, actually, what I'm going to try and do is drink uh, purify or dirty water. Try and boost up our. Um, our radiation level because I'm going to show you one of the most powerful perks in the game it's our first perk I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it ah uh, no I'm not going to tell you I'll keep it a surprise how about that I don't know if we'll get to that level too because you get it every other level in this game uh and it meaning look at that dog it meaning a perk it's not like Fallout 3 or Fallout 4 this game is probably the hardest of all of them, and it is also the best of all of them. Everything all right? All right. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little. Okay, so I'm just I'm gonna just ignore her. So you're gonna come around here and you're gonna see some geckos. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. I don't really see them though. Letting freedom ring on your ass. Okay. So another general rule of thumb is that one-handed weapons will... I think they'll be more accurate than two-handed. I'm going to try and fire as soon as we get out of there. Alright, so a lot of times what will happen is... Okay, yeah. that's Gecko hides are good for selling. Is once you get out of vats, you'll start to see that it'll be locked right onto your see? target still. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Alright, so I'm gonna just keep going with her. Um, because you'll end up getting like some bonus ammo and it's... If I'm doing 100% of the game, I might as well do 100% of the game. And you're seeing we got like uh, our guy's happy up in the top left. He's... We're getting crits and stuff. So... And if you had rapid reload, you would actually get a really fast reload, obviously. And that would help quite a bit. Okay, so now actually what you're going to want to do is run around pretty quickly and you can save the settler. There's not really a big deal to it, but if you save the settler, you get a bonus. You get a, um, it's a karma bonus. Okay, yeah, see... Okay, so she's getting mauled to death. Yeah, and she's talking shit to the geckos like that's actually going to do something. She's actually taking hits like a champ. Nice, and we got a critical hit, so it's a one-shot kill. And another one. And let's make sure we're not attacking the wrong person. She's like just... She's just Mike Tysoning them. Absolute hero ball. She's like, I'm gonna stealth jet jet. Oops, I don't want that. Gecko meat. Generally, you can talk to her. I guess not. Anyways. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, sure. Let's do it. 
So actually what I'm going to do now, so you're going to want to find, I think it's a Brock root and a, or a, Brock, a Brock flower and a Xander root. You can actually find, I think, all of those right around here. It tells you to go over to the school. You don't really need to do that from what I remember. So I think you can get it all up here. Um, that's like some bean or coyote tobacco. I can't remember what they call it. Okay, so here is one of them. I'm going to grab a couple of both if I can find them. So there's a Xander root. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and, ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. So this guy's a random encounter. He, he, uh, he'll show up once you've got a couple Sunset Sarsaparilla uh It started off caps. innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about them? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Where can I find them? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, blue bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it. Hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Okay, so. So, yeah, he's gonna go off, and actually, you can just go ahead and kill him. And you can take the uh, caps off of his body. So that's. Obviously not like the nicest thing to do, but Yeah, we're gonna and you can actually take the roving trader hat too if you so please uh, I don't really care to So actually actually up here is uh, can be Actually up here can be pretty dangerous as well and another odd thing about longer weapons is Is as you um get close to them they're gonna like in vats you're not gonna be able to hit them anymore okay and there's a rock flower so I don't know if you need one or two or what you need of all of it but um, let me also make sure do I have any explosives okay so I have this so actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to beat this area um, usually there's one around here but he can kind of glitch into the rocks, so I wouldn't worry too hard. Oops, I think I just did damage to myself. You'll uh, pretty easily cripple their limbs too, which I'm sure we already did. So actually, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, and so there's this guy that you you, you kind of want uh, to get to show up for this little cliff area. And it's an unmarked quest, basically. But he won't always show up all that easily. So I wouldn't worry too hard if you can't get him to show up. And essentially what you're going to want to do is just scale to the top of this ridge. And... Yeah. And that'll do the trick. He'll show up. You'll kill him. It'll be a good time. Okay, now our weapons are a little bit more inaccurate. But that won't matter so much. Oh wait, I need to... I'm gonna go... Nope, I wanna go up. With that. Down with that. I don't think I... Have done that. Okay. I did in the last episode, but not in this one. Oh, this- oh, Sunny Smiles showed up. Holy shit. I've never had that happen. 
So, although they're walking like they're drowsy. Okay. Although they're walking like they're drowsy, um, they can still hit you. Oh, and this guy's actually pretty dangerous. The hunters are the more dangerous of the two. If you time the shots up, you can actually fire a fair amount of shots out pretty quickly. Alright, good deal. So, she usually, like I said, doesn't come up here, but I guess she did this time. So I don't really mind that. I'll go ahead and... Let me see what you got. <laughs> yeah, these will do just Look at her mouth. She yes, never looks like that. What the hell? All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay, so I guess she was triggered by me getting the proper ingredients. So that's interesting. Uh, one thing to be sure of and safe of you're actually going to see some bear traps and stuff up here. And then there should be one, one more right there. It's not too dangerous, but it is something. We don't really need to take that. And unlike Fallout 4, you're going to want to be taking a lot of that stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. There's another one up here. Bunch of goodies. Uh, a little bit of food, some money, some more money. And then if I had to guess, we're going to go back down to the campfire. And I'm going to guess that the guy is actually going to show up and try and attack us. So, we'll see. Yeah, okay, so here, uh, unless that's Sunny Smiles, which it very well could be. I don't know. I don't know where the guy is. I guess I have had him not show up, but he'll generally like come up there and try and attack you. So, oh well. Uh, he'll probably, like, find us eventually. You don't have to talk to him before you do it. And then, like I said, he he will not be happy with us. Yeah, so you just need one of each. And then we're going to go talk to Sunny Smiles. I don't think we have the right quest activated either. Okay, we do, but for some reason it's, like, hasn't triggered that we have that stuff. I don't know what the deal is. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, and just like that. So you can look down on the mini-map too and you'll be able to see guys show up generally, but... And you always want to go for the head. Head always does more damage. That's why snipers... Sniper is a uh, better perk than, uh, what's the other one? It's Gunslinger and Commando in this game. So Commando, oh, here he is. Barton Thorn, I think. I'm just going to keep shooting until... He's gonna, he would have attacked you either way, so... Okay, I'm not leading him at all. That's on me. A lot of the enemies in this game will do what he's doing and just sit their ass down. Anywho. Whoa. Sexy sleepwear. My, uh, plus charisma. Can be decent. It's probably generally better to find a plus barter um, clothing item. What is she doing? Generally, you can sh talk to her, but she's just engaged in combat forever. So, oh well. 
And I think I'm going to try and keep these episodes around like 45 minutes. I think that's what I found was the most desired for, for the um, other series I had with Fallout 4. Most people, I think an hour was a little long. An hour and a half, two hours was way long. 30 minutes, people would often complain that it was too short. So I think 45 minutes is right in the sweet spot. But y'all comment down below if y'all prefer a different time frame, different general time of the video. I'm not obviously going to cut it out 45 minutes in if we're in the middle of a battle and like leave some bullshit cliffhanger. But um, I do want to know what y'all prefer. And y'all probably learn too as we go. So we'll figure it out together. Okay, for some reason it's still saying that I need to go find the Brock flower in Xander. We'll beat this quest either way, so I don't really care. Didn't we already beat the quest? Oh no, we have to go meet Trudy. This is going to progress the game. <clears throat> and the reason I'm using the varmint rifle is because 5.56 five, is pretty much only good at this uh, stage in the game for uh, money as well as the varmint rifle. So I'm just going to spam it until it runs out I'm of condition. Nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? All right, Joe Cobb. It's been going... <laughs> what was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. All right, goodbye. Hello. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, yeah, I'll see what she's got for sale. Just because I don't think we have anything that can take 308 right now. So I'm going to get rid of that. Our pre-war hat's pretty rough. And let's take some of that. Speech magazines are always really good. I'll take that as well. So like I said, the reason I'm buying all that is because I'm trying to I'm trying to get that quest done whenever we can. I don't really think we need scrap metal, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't think so at least. And do we have any alcohol? I might have missed some alcohol down below, but oh well. What do I want to get rid of? Okay, I can get rid of this, because we don't really need it. Okay, good Thanks. deal. I overheard the argument. What was that all Looks about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Uh, why not kill Cobb and be done with you it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers. Chang gangs, really. So that's one of the factions to as well. The rail lines. Just to explain Problem that. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. What happens if I help if Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Okay, so if I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more, what if I help the Powder Gangers? Okay, so... Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do. Yeah. So, as, as far as I can remember, actually what I'm going to want to do is... You're going to want to go ahead and 
do a quest for the powder gangers. I know it sounds weird, um, but once you become vilified with uh, factions, they'll attack you on sight. That goes for Caesar's Legion, powder gangers, NCR, Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, spoiler alert, there's not really Enclave in this. There's Enclave Remnants, so you don't really need to worry too, too much about that. But as, as you become, like I said, not on good terms with them, they're going to start getting real mad at you. And I'm going to go ahead and do this quest over at the NCR Correctional Facility, else we won't be able to do it. And if we can't do it, then it's going to be bad news bears for us. And I will show you exactly how to do this quest while also uh, giving you a chance to not die. So over here is where the correctional facility is. I didn't even know this, these guys would be here. That's actually a pretty hard enemy for this point. So I'm going to actually take this pretty seriously if I can. Yeah, those enemies actually probably could kill you if you're not careful. So I would probably be careful. Okay, so we got our level up. So our next uh, stat that we're going to be trying to max out is survival. And we're going to want to get that to 70, which we'll get more experience points in the next level up. And then we'll get a perk. So we're good to just throw them all into survival now. And then we can keep on pushing. So... Another piece of advice is you're going to want to come back to this. This is Gene Skydiving, I, if I do remember correctly. And this is owned by Powder Gangers. But this is part of their next quest. So it's actually worth just finding the location. And then I'll explore through that as we uh, continue on. This series isn't going to be like a lot of wasted time, uh, to be honest. So. Uh, I'll, I, I probably won't cut out like a lot of, uh, a, a lot of the traveling too, cause there's always something that happens. I, w I won't say always, but a lot of times there's something that happens. Um, now one thing I will say is that up here is actually a group of coyotes. They've killed me before when I've been doing permadeath runs off screen, obviously, but you're going to want to <laughs> make sure that. I think they're coyotes. They might just be wild dogs. It seems like they're wild dogs. Oh shit, stick. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Large wild dog. Actually, what I'm going to do, when they attack, they kind of, like, gnaw. Ah, shit. See, he did a fair amount of damage against me. God damn it. Okay. Nice. Uh, another rule I need to add is, like, no healing in combat. Like, no manual healing in combat. I think that's a pretty fair rule. Bye-bye. Yeah, as you can see, uh, aiming in this game is a little bit tougher. And when your gun jams, you're not like going to be able to switch either. So there's a couple issues. Okay, and you see these little marks, I'll call them. Uh, anyways, these are powder charges, which are basically just mines. And your guy can like, your guy will skip occasionally. And you want to be sure you don't skip into the mines because then you won't be able to disarm them. And powder gangers are notorious for just setting mines up. And really, you could just go around the broken fence, but I'm going to open it up. And here we go. If you're in good, actually, if you do, if you help the powder gangers, which I'm not going to do because uh, Good Springs is a good settlement to have then you'll be allowed access into this place for free. So that is something to take into account. Look at you. Walking in here like you're one of us. 
Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? Uh, what is this place? This? This is, or was, the big house. New California Republic Correctional Facility. Not much correcting went on here, just slave labor. One day, us prisoners decided to liberate ourselves. Killed the warden, killed the guards, took over the whole damn territory. Okay, who's in charge now? That'll be Eddie. You can use Okay, so he's gonna be in the, uh... Can I go in? Well, I don't know. Depends on if you can make it worth my time. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Okay, so you can just give him the caps. I'm surprised there's not like a... A method to... Uh, haggle him over, but... Anywho, all this will be technically owned by, I think, the Powder Gangers. So don't take any of this stuff from them. Uh, there's one named character over there, but we we don't really need him quite yet. And then there's actually a salesman in one of these. It might be the second one. I'll check through. Powder Ganger. Uh, that's not the right guy. And friendlies will show up as little white dots, so that's how you'll know whether or not you're in the right place. Whether or not. I think I said whether or no. Maybe not. Uh, but yeah, so Eddie's going to be left when you come out of that building. It's about this, time yeah. a new customer showed up around here. I was getting sick of dealing with the same faces all the time. Okay, so I'm going to see what he has for sale. So far, nothing good at all. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Do we have any Rataway? I gotta check real quick. We don't. I'm actually gonna take his Rataway then because I don't really feel like dealing with any of that. Okay. So we do want radiation, like I said, but we don't want. We don't want. We don't want to die from it. And you can die from it. Uh, I'll keep the powder charges. They can do a fair amount of damage. Okay, I want to get rid of that armor, but I can't really do that quite yet. So, anyways, give me a shout. Of All right, so now we can head on over here. And like I said, we're gonna want to be looking out for glass pitchers. There's a couple locations you can find them in. You can find them in Mr. House's area as well. Um, I'm gonna drink out of this. It's a way to get radiation, but it'll bring our our hydration down a little bit. Now, if I were y'all, when you side with, you're gonna have to side with a like a, a side NCR or the powder gangers do not side with the power ga powder gangers they'll likely just run you right over they'll kill you doll said he let somebody in so you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside uh, what do you need done this is powder ganger territory my territory most of the guys around here understand that one Chavez doesn't Chavez formed his own crew and have been hitting traders on their own Everybody I've sent after him either got killed or weren't able to catch him. That leaves you. What do you say? I'll do it. Okay, so we're going to go. So this is just a big, I would call this a ping pong quest, really. So actually, a quick way to get around that loading screen Okay, so we're gonna do that. You can't select multiple quests in this game, but this will actually get us on the outside. So that's a quick little roundabout way to do that. And I think there might be mines laced around this area out here. I don't know that for a fact, but I don't know. Over by their camps and stuff, there are like the satellite camps. <clears throat> you know what I am gonna do? I'm gonna switch over to that weapon because our varmint rifle is kind of BS right now. It's not very good. Alright, so we're hidden. So we're actually going to be able to hit these guys pretty hard.
Okay, and that's that. You could talk to him, you totally could. Uh, I didn't because it you get the same result either way. Holy shit, I guess I clipped him into... Dynamite's good for selling. I guess I clipped him into there. Uh, I don't think there's anything too miraculously good around here, but... Uh, these aren't that good for selling, but if you repair one, I think it's like 7 for 70 or something. It's fine. Fine enough. And other than that, I can just... Oh, wait. I'm going to go back over to the correctional facility. And we're going to have to do this a couple times. And then we're going to... They're going to ask us to, I think, take a side between them or the NCR. And like I said, you're going to want to not take their side at all. So yeah, I could cut out these couple seconds running to them, but I might as well just keep it in just for good times. Why not? All right, I did it. Okay, so now he's gonna ask us to go deal with suspic suspicious merchant. The reason I just skipped through that is because he doesn't really say anything I can't explain. He just says something about him is fishy or something like that. So, uh, and that is why I got Gene skydiving earlier is so that we can go ahead and find this location. And as I said before, the reason I'm doing this before we finish uh, Ghost Town gunfight is better be careful around these parts. I hear because I don't want to put the aggro on me. So why are you sticking around here? Uh, you know, just usually I water pass stuff. the intelligence check or the speech check, but this time I didn't. Okay, so let's see if I have something. I know I have a speech, and I know I have a I might have something for charisma. So let's see. Speech plus ten, so I could take that. I have anything that'll boost charisma. Charisma boosts are hard to find. I actually found one over uh, at the other place. What but, brings you back? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do, just in case. I need to fight him. What brings you back? You think you can take on powder gangers by yourself? Not a whole gang or anything. Just two, maybe three. I was a caravan guard. I've never so not passed this speech check. You won't live. Oh shit. He's actually super tanky. Oh Jesus Christ. Hopefully this wasn't a mistake. For some reason he's... Alright. For some reason he took every shot I had, but he also wouldn't really move, so... I don't really mind that. So now what I would do is I would go in here, because there's actually some really good loot. Really good is pretty relative, I suppose, but uh, there should be a star cap and a key. So that key is for this locker over here. And I think you would regularly need some high-ish amount of uh, lockpick skill, but you don't. I think it's average or something, which is 50. But due to us having that key, we're all good. So now we can go back to the correctional facility and talk to the leader once more. Now I wish there was like an easier way to get in here to talk to Eddie, but this is it's an easier way to get out. But there's no easy way in. You just have to go through the loading zones. And I bet if I had an Xbox Series X, I wouldn't even have to sit through loading zones, even though I didn't really have to just now. Um, but that's what I've heard about the new system I don't have, is that it loads pretty quickly, so good times, good times. Let me make sure real quick that, okay, so I have save on everything pretty much on. Yeah, you want to have all the auto saves on just in case the game crashes. Like I said in the first episode, right before it did crash, uh, this game doesn't crash a lot for me, but it's what? worth, it's worth, uh, 
Good. Had him figured for it's NCR. worth hopping on. One of the Rangers, maybe. Anyway, speaking of the NCR, I need you to take a walk down to Prim. The NCR hasn't raised hell over our breakout, and I want to find out why. They're up to something. I can feel it. Okay, so, yeah. So now we're going to have to go back to Prim. I, I guess... I didn't... I don't think I found Prim's location when I walked or ran by him. But uh, in the episode zero, or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, this, that's going to be Prim down there. And uh, so what I'm going to do now is... I guess what I could do is I could try and try and talk through all this um, and get as far in this quest as I can but I, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get as far as I'd like to because I don't think we're gonna have the skill to do so I could probably actually you know what we have the money though we could definitely pay them off hopefully we'll be able to jump over that yeah find a if you can't find a way make one right Uh, I'm almost certain we're not going to be able to talk to Lieutenant Hayes and get him to fess up what he's doing, but... I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Does the NCR have any plans to attack the prison north of here? Military operations are clock. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And now we get to... I get to welcome you to Prim. So yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. Next episode, I'm going to be walking through Prim, uh, and I will see what people know about all this. So um, for now, I guess I can try and trigger these mines. Now we have some frag mines, and there are going to be enemies on this side uh, over here. They're going to be like escaped convicts, not really associated with powder gangers for some reason. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, smash the like button for me. Uh, I love this game. I hope y'all do too. The first episode got crazy support and I really appreciate that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're a new sub, be sure to comment. I've seen a lot of new faces this uh, as of this last episode. So yeah, it's great to have everybody here. And leave a comment if you have anything uh, worth saying and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.